south and west hundreds of chicago public school teachers and their supporters rallied in car care events spread throughout the city this morning as negotiations continued between the teachers union and the city over exactly what constitutes a safe return to in-person learning they're trying to uh, sort of accomplish with force that which they, they can't accomplish with the persuasion and of course what you always have told them is that that's not going to work the teachers union's comments came one day after mayor lori lightfoot angrily accused the union of creating chaos issuing what appeared to be an ultimatum even as ctu members have voted to remain virtual for now those teachers need to be there to greet their students and teach them in person while some pre-K and special needs students returned to in-person learning three weeks ago, 65,000 K-8 through students are set to return Monday, along with 10,000 teachers. And while at this point it is not clear what will happen, Chicago Public Schools today said significant progress has been made, but important issues remain unresolved. We must make additional meaningful progress today and tomorrow as time is running out. Our teams remain at the bargaining table with the goal of reaching a sensible agreement. And while most parents have chosen to keep their children home, for some, like single mom Sarah Sation, who is hoping to send two of her four children back to school on Monday, the time for an agreement is now. We just want the option of two days, all this advocacy, just to have two days within the classroom. CTU leadership saying three key issues remain unresolved. Agreement on a citywide health metric to close schools again if it becomes necessary. A phased reopening plan as teachers begin to get vaccinated and household accommodations for those with pre-existing conditions. At CTU headquarters, I'm Michelle Gallardo, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.